J to the O to the E, I'm Joe. This is SourceFed. You guys ever sit around on a cold, rainy day and stare out the window sitting cross-legged on a cozy perch from inside your warm house and just let your mind wander? Maybe ruminate about relationships of yore or contemplate what your hot cocoa might say if it could talk. And inevitably, no matter where you start on your think journey, you always eventually end up pondering about the same thing. What happens to dead bodies when they're dumped in the ocean? I know, me too. Well, some cop scientists up in Canada went searching for the answers and dumped three dead bodies into the ocean off of the coast of British Columbia in the name of science to find out. I should mention, these bodies were dead pig bodies. That's a pretty important qualifier. Now, there were studies in the past focusing on decomposition of bodies in ocean waters, but these were concluded after the fact on bodies lost at sea that accidentally perished and the process of decomposition was never observed and analyzed. They just found that body washed up on a beach and we're like, oh, we got to look at it now. And that's why these big bad wolf scientists threw the unfortunate three little pigs into the briny deep and set up cameras to watch the swiney snuff fest. Fun fact, pig bodies are routinely utilized as replacements for human bodies in scientific tests because they're relatively hairless, like us, weigh approximately the same as us, and possess the similar gut bacteria inside their bodies. Cool, right? Now that we know we're all just pigs, let's find out what happened to our submerged pig brethren. This, that there is a marine scavenger feeding frenzy, which is a lot creepier when you add this sound to it. These efficient water monsters devoured the carcasses and transitioned them to skeleton status in just 25 days. That's crazy! Now, here's where it gets really interesting, though. Two of the bodies were immersed in oxygen-rich environments, and that's where larger scavengers like the Dungeness crab and shrimp thrive. So these are the places where they can get they snack on. But the third body was dumped in an area with low levels of oxygen, and larger scavengers can't frequent these areas. This left our dead pig to the ravenous appetites of tiny scavengers with tiny mouths that couldn't break through the skin of the pig. Over time, a thick bacterial mat developed over the third pig, and it wasn't completely skeletonized until 92 days later. Spring arrived, and oxygen levels in the water increased. Interesting. Moving forward, this information will assist in investigations surrounding submerged bodies, and as the study's paper delicately puts it, it will provide realistic expectations for recovery divers and families of the deceased. So, to recap, we're all pigs, and if you die in an oxygen-rich area of the ocean, your remains will be desecrated and devoured by hordes of underwater monstrosities. Guys, what do you think the worst way to die? I would be. What a weird question. Let me know in the comments down below, and then please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Joe Beretta. Thanks for watching SourceFed.